In this video, I'm going to show you how to take a photo that looks like this and turn it into something like this. If you're interested, stay tuned and let's go. Okay. So here we are inside of Alma Photo Raw with the basic photo with no edits applied. Uh, the first thing that I wanted to do with this image, because I'm going to be messing with a lot of the tonal contrast, is I am going to go to Linear Raw. Now, this makes the image look pretty bad, but I'm just gonna click AI Auto, and it does a decent job. Now, it's time to jump into the effects to actually get the workout that we wanna get. So we're gonna go into effects, and the first thing I'm gonna add is dynamic contrast. Now, the default settings are good enough for me. It brings out some real nice uh, contouring, in the image and, and you know really makes the rocks pop so that's the one that i'm going to stay with now what we're going to do is really enhance these colors they're really dull and i want these colors to pop out of the frame so what we're going to use is the color enhancer the reason i use the color enhancer is because it comes built in with a uh, white balance adjustment now, if you want it to do dual white balances, you can with this technique. And that's essentially what I'm going to be doing here. So I am going to make this photo look pretty bad, but what I'm doing right now is I'm trying to make the a glow like you've seen in the original image or in the edited version of the image. So I'm bringing up the glow overall and I bring it up quite high. And then I'm even gonna saturate it okay uh just bear with me this will make sense and then i'm going to throw in a little bit of vibrance so this is the base look that i think works well i like the glow on these rocks over here makes it look like the sun was getting ready to set or it was just rising uh, and what i'm looking at back here is the color and uh, what it brings out in the back portion of this little cave that I was at. So really, really nice uh, look here. And then also looking over here, uh, which is one of the main points of the image because it's just very prominent. So what I'm going to do is hit the B key to bring up the brush. And then I'm going to hit Command I to invert this mask. I'm going to make a very big brush because I want this to be painted in in broad strokes. And I'm gonna go 100% opacity and 100% uh, flow. I'm gonna go ahead and hit Shift X. This is just gonna allow me to go into the paint in mode. And now I'm just going to paint this over the areas that I thought this looked good on. Now, that is probably everywhere that I want this to hit a hundred hundred percent all right yeah I think that'll be all right now what I need to do is get this area right here uh, and paint in so I'm gonna make a larger brush but this time I'm gonna come up to my opacity I'm just gonna bring that down uh, probably around eh, we'll go 74 percent you'll have to play with this for your image but uh, the goal here is I don't want as much information painted in on this or of that adjustment. I don't want as much information from that adjustment painted in because the, the sun would hit hard here. This is my thought. The sun is somewhere in this area shining over and it's catching all of this and it's really lighting it up. But this area is kind of in the shadow and I want it to lead you into the cave. So I'm gonna put even less opacity inside of the cave here. Completely leaving this area alone right now, by the way. So we're gonna just click and I'm doing this in increments just so I can paint in where I want it to be. Now, that I have this painted in where I want it to be, not a very good looking mask. What I'm going to do is click on the layer mask for this and bring up my feather. If you've been following any of these uh, quick edits, you will know that that is one of my favorite ways of just making my adjustments more subtle. So now 
if I turn this off and on, you'll know that it's there because it's just making it uh, really, really bright, really, really glowy. And that's the way that I want it to be right now. So the next thing that I'm going to do is start to influence this front area here. I want to really make these reds and the rock pop. Now, that's really easy to do with this color enhancer, right? Because I now have access to all of that. Let me just close my layer mask here. So there's two ways that I can do it. I can click on red and I can just pull up on the saturation and maybe even increase my range so it goes deeper. Uh, and let's see, mess around with the hue here. Uh, probably move it a little bit more towards that uh, magenta area. And if I turn this off and on, you can see that I'm bringing out some of the color. The second way that I can do it is I can click on hue adjustment or I can click on saturation brightness, whatever it is, click the eyedropper tool, come into the area that I want to adjust and just pull that left and right. Now it's selecting reds and I moved it over to the magenta. So now what I'm going to do is come over to the magenta slider, pull up the range, and then I'm going to crank the saturation and hopefully get this to where I want it to be. And I'm going to make it a little bit darker. Maybe even come over here to the reds. Uh, now it's not going to be the most prominent effect because remember I painted this in with a very light opacity over this area. So it's not going to affect it hundred percent, which is fine because I want this to look subtle and I want it to look natural. All right. So now I think that's good for the colors on this image. Now it's time for us to take care of this back area. So the next thing I'm going to do is add another color enhancer. This time I'm really going to crank this like a lot, right? And I'm only looking in this back area. I'm not worried about the rest of this photo because I'm going to invert this. It's okay. Uh, and I'm going to boost the vibrance and maybe even the saturation. So now I'm getting some good detail yellow on the background or in the back of the cave. So that way, you know, there's something interesting for the viewer to look at. I'm going to hit the brush key again or the B key to bring up my brush tool. Hit command I. That's going to invert my mask. And this time I'm just going to paint in with this low opacity. All I got to turn off manual spacing. Sorry. And now I should get an even flow of painting. And it's okay if this goes off on to uh, the other rocks there. I'm okay with that. So now I have that in there. Of course, I need to feather this. So I'm just going to pull down on my feather quite a bit. Let that feather out pretty good. What I'm trying to simulate here is at the top of the photo, there's a bright spot. So I wanted to kind of show that the sun is reflecting through and then I'm even going to bring some of that glow out into this area like so. OK, and then I'll probably grab another or bring the opacity down, hit the shift X and I'm just going to erase a little bit of that. Uh, so it's not too much that's going out in there, right? Uh, back and forth game of blending in this light. Now, the next thing that I want to do is I've added in color, but it's still pretty dark back there. So I'm going to come over to the local tab. And I am going to reset this. Uh, actually, I need to go to effects first. Come over here. I'm going to copy this layer mask, right? because I want to work in just that area. So then I will paste that layer mask back in there and it doesn't do anything just yet. But what I'm gonna do is open the shadows and you'll start to see it's bringing that area to life. Now, I don't wanna overdo it. So I'm only gonna pull this up just a little bit 
And, you know, it, it brings that, that real nice brightness into the area. Now, uh, what I really want to do is work on this area right here because I think I'm missing some of that. So I'm going to go back to my effects tab and click on color enhancer. Uh, the one that's got the overall brightening effect or uh, the overall sunshine looking effect. And yes, you can use the sunshine filter. I'm just uh, using the color enhancer because I have way more control this way. And I'm just going to paint in some of that effect. So it looks natural, right? The goal here is to make this look as natural as you can even though it's like crazy orange back there. And we're going to take care of that here in a second. So what I'm going to do is click on the color enhancer and I am going to bring this opacity down until it starts to look more natural, right? I want it to look like the sun hit that area, uh, but not so overly saturated, right? Um, and I think this is, you know, off and on. Uh, I think that 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 looks good. All right. So the last thing to pull all of this together is going to be a glow filter. And the glow filter is what's really going to make this image uh, pop and make it almost look dreamy. So as I pull up this amount, look at what it's doing to all of those colors. It's like blending them so well together and you know I don't want anyone to walk away thinking that I want you to trick people with your images but at the same time we can have fun playing around with editing the color uh, inside of our images right so the glow filter is just beautifully blending all of these colors together and making things really uh, shine and, and pop, right? It goes from something that's dull to something that's really, really uh, dramatic. And that's the way that I enjoy my photos to be edited. So hopefully you found this tutorial helpful. This is the before and this is the after. If you want to check out some more of the quick edits, go ahead and click on the video on the screen. And if you're new here, consider subscribing and checking the bell icon. Until the next time, I want you guys to stay inspired and keep creating.